Hi everyone, Charlene Bauer at Ladies Offer Network and welcome to my office. <laughs> we are in the office today because we are going to talk about the Road to Leadership and the Leadership Program. I'm very excited about this. There's all kinds of excitement about this and I appreciate you all for joining in on this very special Wednesday night uh, leadership call. So this is our very first ever leadership call, uh, but it's not really a call. It's going to be more like a presentation. So I wanted to do this very first one publicly because there's so much that people really need to hear about what the leadership program is so that you can be successful in understanding if you want to be a part of it. Um, if you don't, there's absolutely zero stress to that. All right. Zero stress to not wanting to be a part of the leadership group. It's just one more thing, one more added opportunity that you have to, uh, to work forward. I am excited about this because I see where it gives every single person the opportunity to be successful. And that to me is really, really important. Um, we're going to talk about my favorite C word that's getting kicked out the door and the why. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. You guys ready for this? <laughs> all right, so as you guys are all coming on right now, make sure that you're saying your hellos. I am going to tell you, I'm going to keep this very tight as a presentation. I have uh, 19 pages of notes. Yes, that's real. <laughs> 19 pages of notes. Uh, so I'm going to read some of it and I'm going to wing some of it. And I hope that you came with your questions today about this program please have them written down or write them down as we go through. Hopefully, I'm going to answer all of your questions, okay? That's my goal. And then at the end, once I'm done, I will say, okay, open it up for questions. So you're commenting. I'd love to see if you agree with something, if you disagree with something, if you just want to throw some hearts down, any of that kind of thing. I really just want you to focus on what I'm saying and what we got going on, all right? If you see somebody come in midway, help them understand that as well. The questions will be answered at the end. Good. Now that we got the business out of the way, again, if you missed it, here's the office. <laughs> Welcome to my office. I'm bringing you into the office. I didn't even clean up all the mess uh, because this is the real deal. This is where the work happens. This is where I sit all the time, unless I'm in another office that's on the move that you guys have seen. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. Let's get ready. Here we go. So the purpose of the leadership team is to help me properly communicate what Ladies Offer Network is and the offered education opportunities that it provides. Uh, the leadership team will also have opportunities to host on behalf of Ladies Offer Network. That's our purpose. I'm going to come back to that a couple more times. As we work through this program, you'll see that there's elements that we keep coming back to. I really want you to learn the hows and the whys of what we're doing in Ladies Offer Network and the proper wording and the proper presentation of what's happening. As an example, somehow, seriously, we have a bunch of people that think that Ladies Offer Network is a trail ride group and have honestly been extremely disappointed in Ladies Offer Network because that's what they were told. Okay. Trail rides have never been a part of Ladies Offer Network until last year when we started talking about chapters and that there may be some trail rides that come in with the chapters. So that's when the vocabulary officially kind of changed, I'm sure. But Ladies Offer Network is about education and about networking. It's never been about going out on trail rides and making sure that we're hosting trail rides. So again, back to making sure we are communicating this correctly across the board. Uh, chapters, that C word, <laughs> they're gone. They're going away. I did it. We tried it. We gave it a full go. We hit the home run. And at the same time, we struck out, ladies. So I'm proud of what we did. I'm glad that we tried it. And it didn't work. It was entirely too limiting. Every single time I turned around, I was frustrated with what was happening with the chapter scene. 
all of a sudden everybody was getting like compartmentalized like they had to go and get into this group or go ha go get into this group or I don't have a chapter in my area so I can't be a part of it or I don't know two other leaders or nothing is by me and I'm like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter Lady Software Network is nationwide we're we're international wide like you shouldn't be caring if anybody is right there but everybody somehow all of a sudden like clamped onto this chapter word and I was having to spend more time overcoming those comments than I was able to spend the time getting the communication to the teams to be successful. And at that point in time, we've only literally had five test areas. And it was so frustrating to me. It was like, man, this is so frustrating. Everybody should be participating. There should be no barriers to entry. There should be no frustration. There should be nothing there saying, I can't be part of it because I don't have a chapter. Yet at the same time, that's exactly what was happening. Got to go. Not doing that anymore. We can't do that. <laughs> I don't want to limit anything. I don't want to put a glass ceiling on top of us. I don't want to do that. We are a national, we are an international group. Did you guys know that we have people from Canada and New Zealand with us? Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so I want everybody to chat. I want everybody to chat across the country. I want you to have your local wheeling friends, but I also want you to have your friends across the country. Ladies Opera Network is about education and networking. Networking. But let's be real. We didn't fail, we learned, <laughs> right? Isn't that what all those little positive things are out on the internet? You don't fail, you learn, you get grand lessons. Yeah, let me tell you about some of the lessons I learned. <laughs> All right, here's the background. Here's it. Here's what's going on. <laughs> I learned a lot. I learned what I liked, and I learned what completely agitated me. And there was a lot that agitated me, let me tell you. So I love the momentum. Like, we got some really good momentum going in a couple of the areas, in a couple of our test areas. But I didn't like that the regions were too big. Um, people had to participate in the monthly networking events, for an example. Like, let's take Phoenix here for an example. We had one group, this was one of our test areas, and, uh, <laughs> and it was really exciting. That's my computer making noise. I'll shut it down. And it was really exciting, and <clears throat> I didn't want to drive across town. No, I didn't want to drive across town. <laughs> Piston still wants to be part. He doesn't really care where we are. I don't want to drive across town one one weekend one week well if I don't want to drive across town you're not going to be driving across town that's the reality right like let's just be real about life so that was frustrating like and why can't an area like Phoenix Albuquerque was having the same challenges how can these areas not have why can't they have multiple networking events well because all of a sudden the mindset was we were stuck in this chapter and everybody had to stay content. Yeah, but if you miss one, you miss the education that I sent out for that week. That's frustrating to me, right? Like you miss the opportunity to, to chat and meet new friends. Like that's not working out in the bigger picture. Um, I watched life happen with some of the leaders and that's life, that's how it's gonna go. The group either dwindled or it just kind of went off, off camber after that. Um, I watched some people want to come in and become leaders that was their main goal, I think. And then something happened. There's a lot of, I don't know what happens, and then there's a couple I know exactly what happens. But they went away at 100%. I wanna make this really clear, ladies. You don't have to be a part of the leadership group. It does not matter. It doesn't change my love towards you. It doesn't change your statement in Ladies Offer Network. If you choose to try it and it doesn't work for you, if life happens, that's cool, you go back you're just, you're an awesome Ladies Offer Network member. You're here for the education. Remember why you came here in the first place, the education and the networking. Don't disappear. Now, it's not this 100% or nothing thing. I don't know where that came from. That I'm still trying to figure out. That might still happen, but we're gonna figure that one out. Also, things that really challenged me was events were being built and happening everywhere at random times and I have a threshold I really do actually <laughs> there's only so much I can do and I couldn't keep up with this event list I couldn't do it like it was my fault 
plus our national events on top of it. So I didn't do a great job being successful for them at promoting those events and helping them with the events and all the rest of it. And plus, I will tell you, when those events finally came around, I pretty much freaked out the entire day that that event was going on because I wasn't there, because I didn't know what was going on, because I wasn't sure everybody was safe. I'm like, freaking ultra mama bear, bad news situation <laughs> that was happening there. It was not a pretty sight. There's a couple of people, I think we were on tour, and so the girls that were with me, they can testify that Charlene was a basket case that day. Because she's like, oh my gosh, I haven't heard from them yet. I wonder if they're okay. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, with all of those things being said, the C word is out the back door. Bye bye chapters. We're done, we're done, we're done. We are focusing on the leadership program which now I'm going to start talking about, and you're going to see why. You're going to see how this gives us so much more ability and is not limiting at all. So I'm going to go back to the purpose of the leadership team. The leadership team is to help me properly communicate what Lady Software Network is and the offered education opportunities that it provides. The leadership team will also have opportunities to host on behalf of Ladies Offered Network. Yay, right? So, with that being said, it's not limiting. You want to be a leader? Be a leader. I don't care if there are 10 leaders in one area or there's not a leader in your area. If there's one, if there's 18, if there's 22, it doesn't matter. This is your personal journey at this point, too, with wanting to be a leader. All right? So, if there become six leaders in... Arizona, like I'm going to use an example in a minute. That's awesome. This is all on you now. That, that three number, out the window. All of that stuff, out the window. Too limiting. Last night I told you, broader communication efforts is my goal for 2020. I told it to you. What I didn't tell you <laughs> is that the leadership team has a major role in helping me accomplish this goal. <laughs> now, I have to give you the tools in order to be successful to accomplish the goal. So my communication to you has to be better. But then once we have that communication, your communication is also going to help me accomplish this broader communication effort. All right. Mass communication. Yes. Ding, ding. Mass communication of the correct communication. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm a PR person, people. This is a bad plan when you're talking to a PR person about words. Bad plan. So for an example, I just gave you a very detailed explanation of why chapters are going away. When someone asks you for the why, you now have the knowledge to answer it correctly. If you need to know more or you need to re-listen to what I just said, please do that. Review the words, right? I just gave you the words. I'm going to help everybody eliminate the I think statements and turn it into delivering facts so that we can be successful at communicating as a leader and a representative of Lady Software Network. As a leader, people are going to look to you and say, well, why did she get rid of chapters? Well, instead of I think dot dot dot, you can say, well, actually, she told us the other night this, 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 and this is why. I just outlined it. So if you need to go back and Understand that so that that gives you the words to be successful in helping people in your area understand. Please do that later. All right. But that's how we're going to go. We're going to be successful PR people. I am a PR person. One word changes the whole sentence. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> I know. You hate me already. But stick to the facts. Yes. Stick to the facts. All right. There are two types of communication. There's communication through facts or words, and then there's communication through experiences. Both of these are part of the Road to the Leadership program that I'll give you. Um, it's going to be a relatively slow process, and all my now girls, yes you, all the now girls, <laughs> you're going to hate me for this a little bit. You're going to be like, but I want to do it now, 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 Charlene, go faster, go faster. No, we're going to go slow, and we're going to do this correctly. Okay, now girls, got me. Are you a now girl? Um, we're gonna attack this as a group. We're gonna do it as a team. We're gonna do it as a nationwide stance. And we're gonna learn how to do something first and then 
you're going to lead with all of that in mind. Uh, anyone that knows me and has worked directly with me, you know these words. Trust in the process. Consistency equals success. We got this. <laughs> you're going to hear those a lot. All right. You're going to hear those a lot. Um, so let's talk about the communication through the facts program that we'll start working with. The communication through facts and words. Okay. So this is some of what we're going to be working with this year. Top of the list, networking events. You guys have heard me. You guys have heard me talk about these. You guys have heard me harp on these. Now you're going to understand a little bit of the why behind. They're very now, they're very important. They fulfill 100% of our education and networking opportunities. Um, you're not the only ones as a leader that can host it. Any member can host one. But there will be a pretty significant how-to coming out. I don't have it done yet. We're going to mock up some uh, experiences around here. And that will be put together for you. Realize that by hosting a networking event, you are a representative of Ladies Offer Network. Um, take for an example, you have a new person come to a networking event. For whatever reason, they have a bad experience. They aren't coming back. Put yourself in their shoes. You're not coming back. You have a one-time shot to make this a great experience for somebody that's new that's trying to figure out if they want to spend their time with this group. If the education isn't presented, if it's too loud and you can't chat, if it's too clicky and they aren't included in the chatter, right? It all happens. It happens. But you as the representative of Lady Has Offered Network needs to be recognizing these items. Um, here's something that you don't know. Every networking event costs Ladies Offer Network about $100. So take January for an example. We have 10 events across the country. That's $1,000 that we're budgeting into you guys hosting networking events. Yeah, it costs money. <laughs> uh, the setup, the marketing, the promotion, the shipping, the tools, everything costs money. Nothing in life is free. Dang it. <laughs> um, so how are you helping me maximize that experience? as that host, right? How are we following that how-to? I, I send a full one-pager on how to host that networking event. I haven't done the video yet. We're doing it, but I don't even think people are following the one page. How are we giving our current members an excellent experience so they wanna keep coming back? How are we making sure that our guests that are coming that are brand new wanna keep coming back, right? And that they're excited to join in on the learning experiences. How are we doing that? I really don't care how many people show up to your networking events. If three people show up to your networking events, if five people show up to your networking events, that's cool. You guys have a great opportunity to sit there for a couple of hours and talk about whatever the education topic is, get to know each other really, really well, give great experience for those five people, and all leave saying, you know what, let's all bring one more person next month because this is where it's gonna be. That's fine. You get 15, 20, 30 people at your networking events. To me, that's mad chaos. <laughs> There's no wrangling 20 to 30 girls into any kind of a conversation about education. Trust me, I try to do it all the time. <laughs> so think about that a little bit more, right? Like you don't need these huge numbers, huge numbers it's not about, it's not a numbers game. It's an experience game. Are you providing that experience for that group? Making sure that you guys are having an awesome time. And with that, I say multiple networking locations in a zone is fine. Uh, Michigan's been doing it, but it's one side of the state to the other side of the state. Florida's doing it. You know, you're four hours a gap apart. But Phoenix, Albuquerque, as my two examples that I've been using, Everybody's within an hour, hour and a half, but at rush hour traffic and after work, you don't want to drive an hour in, in the evenings. So figure it out. Region it out. Start having two or three in your region and have a great time. Get that education, get those groups together, and network the heck out of it. You'll all crisscross at some point. Um, the Arizona girls that we were talking to the other day, they actually had a great plan. They said we can have three around the area 
And instead of having them all on Tuesday nights, we have one on Tuesday night, one on Wednesday night, and one on Thursday night. So if somebody wanted to go to all of them, then I would have the opportunity to match them all or however you want to work it, right? So that's something that we'll be working on as a group. Networking events. Another thing that we'll be working on as a group this year. Um, impact tables at events, show booths. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about scary for me when somebody says, hey Charlene, can I do a, um, <laughs> can I do uh, a trade show booth and represent Ladies Off-Road Network? No! <laughs> no, has definitely been the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. It's I have not provided you the tools to be successful in that scene. Right? I haven't given you the work, words. I haven't given you the visual. I haven't given you any of that to be successful. Engagement is the key to success at these times. So words. We're going to talk about how to represent Ladies Opera Network in a show style. So words. Learning the ability to catch somebody's attention as they're walking by, that three second statement. The three second statement, right? And then they stop. And so now you have 10 more seconds. What do you add into that 10 more seconds? And then, oh my gosh, now they're starting to ask questions. Ah, do you know the answers? <laughs> I hope so. Or you start making them up, which is the scariest part for me. Or you say, I don't know. But you know what? I don't know is a way better answer. Yet at the same time, we only have one chance to make a first impression. We all know that statement, right? So how do you talk about the events and the memberships without it feeling completely overwhelming to that person? Because it is completely overwhelming. Like we have so much cool stuff going on and you want to tell them about all of it. But how do you understand what they care about so that we really just like nail into what they care about right then? Just asking a couple questions. Um, and then we have a certain look that we want to go after. So the tablecloths, the correct papers, koozies, and tools. Like, do you have all those tools that I need to provide to you? <laughs> Having correct partner stuff. Like, you may think you have, like, a bag of koozies from one of your friend's companies, right? And so you're going to take this bag of koozies to this event that is that you're representing Ladies Off Our Network at, and you're handing out this bag of koozies, and one of our prime partners walks by and sees you handing out this bag of koozies as ladies off road network and it's a competitive company i may or may not ever hear about that but guess what they think i approved it and when that re when that renewal comes back and that company decides not to continue on with ladies off road network on a national level do we know the why right do we know the why so that's something that's really important to me as well. And this is all the business aspect that it's not your uh, quote job to know. It's my job to teach you so you can be successful as representation. All right. Uh, I'm just a reminder here really fast. If you have questions, hold them until the end. I'm not reading uh, what you guys are writing, but if you have statements or something that I can look at later, that's great. But please hold the questions until the end, and if they're not answered, I will be sure to answer them all. The next big piece of what we have going on, or don't have going on, is trail rides. <laughs> trail rides, all right? Yeah, that word. The one that really freaks Charlene out. The one that sends me into my corner to start rocking. Like, <laughs> I have a, one of these fancy rocking chairs right here, and that's what I start doing when I think about trail rides. Um, let me explain the why. There's a responsibility and a liability to this that I'm not sure a lot of people understand. If you have a group of friends and you all decide to go out on a trail ride, have a great day. You get to go have a ton of fun. You go out, you go on a trail ride, and you do your thing, right? The moment that I get involved, the moment that there's a brand involved, like Ladies Off Our Network, the moment that we promote that event, the game changes, unfortunately. So there's a responsibility. We have responsibilities to the trail. We have responsibilities to liability. We have responsibilities to event structure and planning and experience. We have all these different responsibilities. And a lot of people don't really recognize that. So 
possible permits, right? We may, you guys might want to go on some trail ride, but we need a permit in order to run there. We may have a limitation on numbers. We might have fees that we have to pay. We might have, it might take a long time to get this permit and we can't get it within the amount of time that you want to have a run. This was some of the stuff that was happening that we were learning, not learning, but just like hitting roadblocks on. There's a liability. The minute that you guys think that you're on a ladies off-road network run, guess what? Our liability just kicked in. So your vehicle has damage. Somebody gets injured immediately. And it may not be you because you recognize that scene, but that doesn't mean that somebody else in your household doesn't recognize the scene and says, go after ladies off-road network. It was their run. Well, guess what? I'm not there. So we could have probably solved or not had that challenge if we had seen the challenge ahead of time, right? And then we have the event structure, planning and experience. Well, back to impressions. If you're taking a group out under our brand, do you have the understanding of what that minimum standard is so that people can have a great time on the trail? So now you see like what's in my brain when people are like, oh yeah, I want to host a trail ride. Can we use Ladies Off Road Network? No, <laughs> no, I start freaking out. Again, it's not your responsibility for knowing that. This is the business side, I'm being open to you. This is a leadership call and uh, I'm being really open, right, about that side. So we only had a couple trail rides go out last year as part of the chapters. Um, I know that neither one of them needed a permit. I knew where they were at, so we were good there. They had signed waivers, but I wasn't there to know of the signs of the potential challenges, right? Um, to stop them before they started and the leaders were awesome, but are they truly trail guides? Like did they give that safety speech out correctly? Was there excitement in the day? Was I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There was only two of them and I freaked out the entire day for two days. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was awful. I like kept checking my phone. Checking my phone. Are they back yet? Are they back yet? Are they back yet? Like full mama bear mode. It was awful. So first and foremost, First and foremost, ladies. Ladies Off Road Network is an educational group that provides a network. Network it up, ladies, network it up. Get all the ladies together and go on trail rides. You guys have a blast. Use Wild Apricot to collect the group. <laughs> Here comes Piston. Promote, um, post your pictures on the website and on social media, but please, do not attach the brand as it's like a ladies off-road network trail ride. That's my biggest thing. Don't attach the brand like it's a ladies off-road network trail ride. Don't market it as such. Don't hint like it is. None of the above. All right? Yes, you can absolutely say, hey, a bunch of ladies off-road networks, uh, ladies off-road network ladies are getting together and we're going to go try out the latest class we got on spotting. Absolutely. You can say that, no problem. You can't say, hey, Ladies Off Road Network is going out on a trail ride so that we can go work on our latest class that we just got on spotting. Can't do that one, all right? So it's all about the words and communication. Um, take Ladies Off Road Network out of that atmosphere and position of liability because I have no control over it. Does that make sense to you guys? You guys understanding that position? Uh, I want you to go have fun. I support you 100%. I wanna be with you, but, 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 okay? So, I say all that, and then I say, hey, remember those three day events and we have trail rides as part of them on Sundays? Yeah, but that's me putting them together. That's me crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and I'm there with you, all right? Here's another little secret I'm going to let you in on. I've been procrastinating on if I decided to do this, but I'm going to tell you. I'll leak some information. <clears throat> We're going to be creating a trail ride day this year. Yes, we are. Uh, so as a leader, as a leader, you will build up the skills that you'll learn to be able to lead on this very specific day. You'll be providing and experience in your location as others are in other locations at the exact same time. Uh, the I's will be dotted, the T's will be crossed, 
and only members will be able to join. And it will be epic. Yes, I wrote that. <laughs> it will be epic. <laughs> so as an example, as an example, let's just say we have five leaders here in Phoenix. We have somebody that's totally into side-by-sides. We have somebody that's into hardcore jeeping. We have somebody that's a dirt bike rider. We have somebody that's a Toyota that just likes to go and uh, go down dirt roads. We have all these different categories of leaders, right? All these people that are into different things. Again, it doesn't matter anymore. Nothing matters. You just want to, you're, you're on your own journey. <clears throat> How cool is this? On this particular day, those five leaders can now take their groups out. Like a side-by-side -side run can go out and a hardcore Jeep run can go out and a motorcycle run can go out. And of course you're all kind of coordinating because we all know each other and we're all going to be communicating. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But that is cool. Not having to decide on who's doing what and when. So that's going to be another really fun part to this of no limitations. We have these one day, it will be a day, that's our limitation. <laughs> because, let me tell you the why to that. Yeah, because Charlene is going to sit right here in this chair and rock in this corner <laughs> with my phone and my spreadsheet until everybody checks back in, and I'll probably have some Jack Daniels handy somewhere, <laughs> not gonna lie, until everybody checks back in that everybody is safe during that day. Because hopefully, I mean, think about how cool this is gonna be. We're gonna have a lot of trail rides out on that particular day. So, um, yeah, so pretty exciting. So that's a, that's a little insight. Um, this, again, is gonna be a very slow process. There's going to be a lot going on, and I already have our plan of attack ready for 2020. You also see leadership is not the only thing on the calendar. There's a lot going on, so we, we're fitting everything in as it goes. Uh, I have opportunities for you to learn and then lead within your area. Let's always make sure that we're remembering that. So we're going to learn and then lead. We're not going to jump ahead of the trail rider. Uh, if you got your planners, you saw the save the dates on them. Uh, so there's some save the dates on some Saturdays. Those are specific event dates that we will be executing something. All right, leaders? Those are uh, dates that we will be executing something. I've now told you the three main areas that we're going to attack this year. So I'm not going to tell you what days are what yet, but the save the dates are very specific to those three things. Um... With this, with you becoming part of the leadership program, you will get the business, Charlene. You're seeing her tonight a little bit differently, maybe, than all other times. Uh, you'll get to learn a lot about professionalism and leadership. You can ask questions. You can engage. There's a lot of stuff that you'll be able to take back to your business or back into your world. Uh, people spend a lot of money to learn what I'm going to teach you. And all I'm asking for is for you to help me in creating and making our goals. That's literally what I'm asking for in return. I'm not charging anything, none of that kind of stuff. I really just want your help in hitting our goals because I need your help and I want your help. And that's no joke. Uh, we're going to be using two programs in order to be successful. We're going to use Wild Apricot, which you guys are already in as members. There's going to be a leader only area, so you will have access to that area. Nobody else will be able to see these things. Um, we'll all be on one team, so we'll all be in there chatting together. In the beginning, I don't see where we're going to have any kind of splits as far as people is concerned. But I can also see where that may be a benefit, like I was just talking about the six people in Arizona, giving them a little bit of room in order to chat so that they're not putting their networking events on top of each other or et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to work that out as we go forward, um, but we'll get that figured out. And then Kajabi has been so cool with Bauer Academy. So Bauer Academy will host the education, will host our calls, and will host a lot of different things, all right? So we're pretty much going to be sitting in those two. If we use a third one, it'll be called Blue Jeans, which is where we will have our phone call. And those phone calls are on Wednesdays, uh, and that's also in your planners. All right, so that's our communication through words. Now, let's talk about the communication through experiences. Remember, we have the two different styles of communication. Um, okay, raise your hands. 
Who's done a trail training? Who's been to the convention? Who's been to a VIP event? Who's participated in the challenge? Are you participating in the resolution right now, right? Have you had those experiences? How, how do you communicate those experiences to people? I've had an awesome time. I learned more than I expected. I was scared to start too, but I did it. Yes, I thought the dress up nights were super silly too, but they are actually really fun. <laughs> um, I've met so many awesome ladies just online. How are you explaining your experiences, right? Communication through experiences. So by experiencing our events firsthand, you might say that they're a little bit different. In fact, I hope you say that because I try really hard for them to be different. And by experiencing them, you get to create feedback and create a testimonial. Then you can explain the camaraderie that's there, the education level that's there, the laughing that's there, the caring that's there, the friendships that you all have, you know, gained through online, but also as you finally get to meet somebody. Find what matters and then try and find the words to communicate that, right? So let's take iced tea as an example, my iced tea example. I love iced tea and you guys know that. I brew my iced tea and my iced tea is the best iced tea out there. It tastes amazing. Well, let's say that you taste my iced tea and you're like, oh my gosh, that is the grossest iced tea that I've ever had. But I think my iced tea is awesome. On the flip side, if you say my iced tea is awesome also because you really liked it, well, somebody else actually gives you more credibility because you thought my iced tea was great than me thinking my iced tea is great. So that communication through experiences because you had such a good time, people are going to take that honestly with more credibility than me saying, oh yeah, the convention is so cool and this and this and this and this and this. So as you guys already see what I do, I'm, already, I'm giving you the tools and the facts about the events. You guys are the ones that are then saying, this experience is really awesome. We really need to be a part of it. All right. And so that's a big piece that that communication through experiences. One of those experiences that's going to be really fun again this year in 2020 is our leadership summit. Um, we did it this year for the first time. We won it. We did it. We had a great time. And I appreciate all the ladies that came. It was really awesome. It's going to be in Vegas again this year. It's going to be at the end of the week of SEMA, though. Um, we're going to bring <clears throat> the year of our online chatter together into a big table. We're going to identify what worked. We're going to identify what didn't work. I'm going to take blame for what didn't work. And then we're going to move on. And we're going to come up with the initiatives for 2021. We're going to understand what we need to work on and start saying, okay, this is what we can do better. And this is how these groups can uh, flow and understand what we can really execute. All right. So that's what is going to happen there at the Leadership Summit. Uh, if you cannot make it personally, it's okay. You can tune in online. All right. So that's the communication through education and, or what is the two? Communication through words and communication through experience, right? <clears throat> which now brings us to our formal outline of the Road to Leadership certification, which this is online and you guys have all been able to see this already. So it shouldn't be, this is nothing new. Um, number one, be a member. I don't even know why I need to say that, but it's there. Uh, attend two national events. You have over 18 events to attend this year. Convention, trail training, three-day event, garage takeovers. Um, honestly, if this is a financial burden, don't let it knock you out. Let's just communicate about it and see what we need to do. Uh, participate in one online program, the resolution, the challenge, the scavenger hunt. I might have a Bauer Academy program come up that might count. Host a minimum of two networking events, so master them, and then empower others to be successful. I don't want you to be the only one hosting them all the time. That doesn't really help us, right? Host an impact table, which all details will follow on that and what that means. 
Attend the Leadership Summit, either online or in person. So you don't have to necessarily be there in person, but you still got to block out the days online. And then attend 100% of the leadership calls, which there will be replays available 100% of the time. So it's not like you have to be here live, but you do need to listen in because I don't want you to miss any of the important information that we're giving out. Um, it's on your planners already. It's the Wednesday night, so you already know the date for the entire year. Your attendance will be featured as a submitting the feedback sheet. So at the end of this call, as an example, those that have submitted your applications already, those that already have into our loop, um, you will get those feedback questions and then you'll reply back to me um, and that will be, quote, your attendance record for that because I want your feedback. This is not a one-way conversation all the time. It feels like it right now. I get it. This is more of a presentation moment than it is actually a call with uh, feedback, but I also realized when we're a big group and there's a lot of people talking that there's not a lot of opportunity for you to talk. So I am going to be presenting stuff with words and then saying, okay, I need your feedback. It may not be where everybody can get online and actually talk about it or right at that moment, but that also means that you can type it out. All right. So that's part of that feedback. Next on the list is attend the ambassador to marketing school which will be in the Bauer Academy. Uh, you'll get 50% off for you to take it. Again, if this is a financial burden, don't stress out about it. We can figure out a way for you to earn that. And don't get stuck on this one either. <laughs> I haven't built it yet, <laughs> okay? So it's not right now, and it's not next month, and it's not the month after that. So that one will come along the way. But again, it's such an awesome tool uh, I've given it quite a few times. It's just not in Bauer Academy yet. And it gives you that tool to be really successful in understanding the off-road market as a business, right? Um, engage in Wild Apricot and Kajabi. Again, just being online with us. And I did write at the end that I reserved the right to modify this list this year because I feel that we may be able to add something very simple or knock something off that just didn't really pan out well. Okay, so I'm giving myself a little bit of flexibility there on adjusting that list, especially in this first year. With those things, then you are certified as a Ladies Off-Road Network leader. Um, then to maintain your certification the following year, again, you need to be a member. These are minimums. You need to attend one national event, one online program, attend the leadership summit online or in person, attend 100% of the leader calls and submit the feedback sheet because I need your feedback and want it. Uh, engage in Wild Apricot and Kajabi. And then the one that I think is really special, and I hope that you will as well, is actually become a mentor to a leader through the Road to Leadership program. So somebody that's in their first year I want you to become a mentor to them to help them be successful. All right, our year is set from August to August. Um, it's set that way because we're gonna pre present the certifications at the convention. You deserve the recognition of everybody at the convention as you get this moment in time. Uh, it's, it's a good list, like it's a challenging list. And so you deserve that. And I want you to stand up there and let everybody applaud for you and that recognition. Couple asterisks to that right now. So the ladies that attended the summit in November, there's a group of you, can quote walk uh, this August with a little bit of focus. Okay, a little bit of focus. So you can do it, you can get everything in. We can talk about if an event falls right after August that you're planning on for your national event, no big deal, all right? Those starting right now that didn't go to the summit, we're actually going to have a special this year only walking group in November at the summit because you will be able to accomplish everything this year. The summit will be the very last thing that you have on your list and I want you to be successful right then too. So on Sunday afternoon, us as a group, we're going to be hooping and hollering and have you have that opportunity. All right. Anyone not starting before the February call, which is in a month, uh, will jump to the August to August program. Fair enough. 
So that's how we're going to do that. Then it'll go to the August to August program. All right, so that explains that. Uh, something that you're going to see me do over the next month before our February call is you're going to see me create some new membership levels. These new membership levels, first of all, the chapter membership is right out the door. <laughs> They're going away. So anybody that has a chapter only membership, uh, I'm going to communicate with them and absorb them into our system. Then you're going to hear me uh, create some different membership levels. Like, I don't know. We'll come up with some cool names like rock solid or gold or platinum or whatever. We're going to come up with some fun names. Basically what's happening is as you begin to click off your road to leadership, you'll start bumping up in your membership level. And somebody that is already has a certification and that they're maintaining their certification, they're going to be at that top level. Different levels will have opportunities attached. For example, Everybody is always after me for a banner and like flyers with their names on it. Like, okay, cool. I'm totally with you, but you're not getting them. <laughs> and now you understand why, because they didn't have the words. So once you have a set of tasks complete so that I know that you can represent with words, when those items attract attention to you and your connection with Lady Software Network, then you can have one. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. I want you to have banners. I want everybody to know about Ladies Software Network, of course. But I want the people that have the banners and have the flyers with their names on them to be able to correctly speak about Ladies Software Network. Does that not make sense? Please tell me that makes sense. All right? So you guys are learning a lot about me and why we don't have a lot of branding out there. All right, so that's going to happen before our February call. So you're going to see that come up. Um, <clears throat> all right. The thing that you have all been waiting for, I know this, and I've waited till the end, because <laughs> you know that's what I do. Just like the giveaways, I wait for you, I make you wait until the end. The other C words, and they're the C words that you don't like. <laughs> they're the C words that I really like, and the ones you don't like, or don't understand. Can we say it that way? So. The confidentiality and non-compete agreement that I'm asking you to sign. Many of you guys are concerned about this situation. Let me explain it to you in simple Charlene wording, okay? And then we can go from there. Um, Ladies Off-Road Network is unique. Do you agree? Do you agree? There's nothing else like it. We are creating these programs off of a lot of opportunity that I've seen through years and years of experience and are adjusting it to exactly how it needs to be done today. I'm letting you into my office and, I, and I'm sharing with you the information to be successful within Ladies Offer Network, not outside Ladies Offer Network. You can be a part of as many clubs, as as many groups, as as many off-road scenes as you want to be. And I want you to be a part of as many groups and as many clubs as you want to be. But, B-U-T in capital letters, you can't take our programs to those clubs or our how-tos to those groups. No. And that seems extremely fair and reasonable to me. That is what I'm trying to say. You can't take our programs and insider information to create your own girl group. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know why I need to say that. If that's your intention on being a part of our leadership program, I'm totally cool with you not signing it and being a part of our leadership group. Totally okay with not teaching you how to do it. I'm just saying, right? If these are not your intentions, then we should have absolutely no challenges with anything in that document. I'm successful because I run things like a business, good or bad. This is a proper business decision, and I appreciate that you respect that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in the world that we live in, we have to have these formalities for the 
It's just like locking your bike when you go somewhere. You're locking it not for the 90% to keep them fair and honest. You're locking it for the 10% that you're trying to detour from taking advantage of you. Right? Hopefully with this understanding of the why, this is less of an issue now. Um, I'm not just protecting, quote, my business, if you want to put it that way. I'm protecting the project that you've come to enjoy and appreciate. And you're here because you want to be a part of that leadership group. I'm thankful that you respect why I don't want our, you're part of it too, key assets shared. Your commitment to leadership is your commitment to our long-term success also. So you should want people to sign this just as much as I do. That's what I have to say about that topic. <clears throat> I will add one more thing. I do have the ability to ask someone to leave the leadership group at any time or just continue their access if I feel they're not working in the best interest of Ladies Off-Road Network. They will have plenty of chances <laughs> to do right. Anybody that knows me knows they will have too many chances to do right. They'll work forward and be successful. If you see me ever do this, which let's pray we never have to, know I've been working with that person or communicated with them with no success. It will be a very unfortunate day for both of us. All right? So this last part, if this last part doesn't work for you, no stress at all. I totally, totally, totally get it. That just means we carry on like normal, right? Ladies Off Our Network is Ladies Off Our Network. It's education, it's networking. There's all kinds of awesome that's going on. Participate in our education and in our adventures and in our opportunities. That is okay. If you understand where I'm coming from, I need your help. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of fun. We have a lot of save the dates on the calendar, as you see. And we have a lot of ladies to tell that we have this education and these opportunities and these adventures. All right. So I am very excited about it. And I know that we're going to build the right leadership group in order to help me take this into 2020, a new decade, right? Isn't that what we get to say? And take what we've learned from last year with that C word and make it way better with a leadership group. Um, so your task between now and February, all right, your task between now and February, we're shutting it down as far as I'm concerned. So in a minute, I'm going to ask you to uh, put any questions down and I'll answer your questions so you can start getting them ready. But these are your tasks. You may want to write these down. Um, commit to the Road to Leadership program by submitting your application if you have not already. Fair enough. If you have already, no stress, I got you. Uh, map your success of the events to attend, right? Because now you have that list. You understand what that road to leadership needs to be. So start mapping your success. You have your planner. If you don't have your planner yet, uh, I dropped a whole nother set at the mailbox today. All right, so your planner's on the way. If you were part of the resolution, if not, uh, go to BauerMediaStore.com. You can get one for free. Just help me out with the shipping and grab a shirt or something. Like, pay for that shipping while you're out there, right? Anyways, get yourself a planner and map your success for the events. Then get familiar with Wild Apricot and start chatting if you haven't already. Uh, get your login challenges handled. A lot of times you just need to reset your password. Sometimes your membership is lapsed. There's all kinds of weird stuff. So I'm right here right now, especially the next couple weeks. Let's like get all of that managed, okay? Let's get you into Wild Apricot and chatting. You will also see me open up the uh, specific area in Wild Apricot for the leadership group so you can chat within that group. In mid-January, a couple more weeks, you'll get an email for me from me asking for a March date commitment. You'll see our very first save the date is March 7th. I'll tell you what we're up to then. Smiley face. It's on the list. <laughs> I write smiley faces to myself too, not just you, all right? Um, 
attend the January networking event if you have one, or submit for the February networking event. Remember, multiple events in the areas are okay now. Life is changing, everything's changing a little bit. And that uh, deadline for February networking event is Wednesday, January 15th. All right, the February call will be a closed call. We will not be here live on Facebook. I think that this was a great plan to do this on Facebook so that everybody understands the road to leadership and hopefully everybody understands where we're going with it. Um, but the February calls now, everything will start getting closed down to just the people that have signed the, the papers and extremely focused on the March event, the tools and the skills that you'll need to be successful at that March event. So you'll be given all of the skills that you need, you'll be given all of the tools that you need, but you still need to do the work, right? To make sure that you like ingrain those skills and are ready to rock and roll when March 7th comes, which it's not hugely challenging. Yeah, that's my, uh, very awesome carrot. <laughs> All right. Yay. I made it. Whew. Questions? <laughs> Do I even want to ask if anybody has questions? Okay. While you guys are writing your questions, I did see one question pop by randomly as I looked up. It said, why are the networking events only on the weekdays? All right. So while you guys are asking questions, I'll answer that one. The networking events are only on the weekdays because they are um, not weekend events. Like a weekend event is going trail riding. It's going and doing cool stuff. It's not like hanging out and eating dinner and talking about how to change a tire. So they're specifically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Not a Friday night, right? Friday nights are you're off doing fun things. You're off on your on your trail ride. So they're specifically during the week on Monday to Thursday for that reason. A couple hours in the evening, you get to hang out, you get to network, you get to make great plans for the weekends, um, but you're not competing with a ton of weekend plans. So that's really important to me. All right, so that is that. All right, let me roll up here because I saw some more. Are you access chats to Wild Apricot app? <clears throat> okay, so the Wild Apricot, just very fast on that. Wild Apricot app is, to me, in some ways useless. It's the internet that works. So I've even said in your how-to guide of using Wild Apricot, get to the website and do on your phone the home link. I can't show you because I'm using my phone right now but there's a home home screen link and go directly to the internet. It's the app is not anything more than just one more transfer spot to the internet. All right. Thank you, Jody. We provide us with PDF of the written words that we should use. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, yes. So uh, there's going to be PDFs of words. There's going to be role playing which is going to be highly entertaining. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to laugh at us, all right? But the reality is, is these are questions that these girls ask at these shows, and you have to have the answer, all right? So yes, 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 yes. Networking events have to be a certain week every month, or can we have them throughout the month? No, they're during a certain week every month, Savannah. It's the third week of the month every time. And again... Back to the why, what did I say? We have to have consistency across the country and it has to fit within our massive schedule of everything that's going on, specifically my massive schedule, because if I can't make sure that everything is on task, it's not on task, period. What shops support Ladies Offer Network and give discounts? Um, not sure this is the moment to answer that. So there's a, there's going to be a web page that has all that listed. Do we need to make sure that we are off work for save the dates? Yes. Good plan. <clears throat> are there discounts for leaders for the adventures or conventions? No, not at this point. Still a specific week. 
Is base camp gone? Yes, base camp is gone. Uh, so we will be using the two programs right now and then maybe a communications program like a call program. So it's um, Wild Apricot, which you guys are already on, and it is Kajabi, which you guys are already on if you are part of the resolution. Otherwise, you will be grabbing it also. Is the option for ringleader still available? No, because there's no such thing as a chapter. So ringleader, out the window. Either you want to be a leader or you don't want to be a leader. And it doesn't matter either way. It's good. No stress on that. No stress on that at all. Um, I have it bookmarked on the internet. Perfect. That's what you need to do. That's the best way. And on your phone, you can do the same thing. You can bookmark it on your phone too. I did it for my mom the other day on her tablet. It was awesome. Totally worked out. Worked like a dream. She's on there too, by the way. Watch out. Um, all right. Save, save, save. Tree is not down yet. Dang it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, yeah. Anyways, we're in my office and it doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Terminology and scripting as well as comprehension creates excellent representation. Yes, those words right there, Diane. Terminology and scripting as well as comprehension creates excellent representation. That's what I'm trying to do. Big words. All put together that's what it is on the road to leadership does the things we have done in the past etc count um ish ish so that's kind of a weird moment right here right so I know that a lot of people have done a lot of things with us and we just need to like get you into that leadership scene but we also need to do it legitimately because I don't think that it's fair to let anybody necessarily just like pass through without doing it right. Because then there will always be the, well, she didn't do this part. I'm like, oh my gosh, people. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. So with that being said, you're still going to do two events this year with Ladies Offer Network. Like everything is still kind of in play. So let's just make sure we do that. There's a couple of you, again, if money is a challenge, I said very bluntly, just communicate with me and let's make sure that we get that taken care of. There's ways around almost everything if you communicate with me. Yes? Yes. Uh, so that's gonna be something that we're gonna work towards and figure it out. But then once you start doing the next year, you see where your maintenance mode, you still have to do an event. You still have to participate. Like, why would we keep you in that leadership role if all of a sudden you disappear? Doesn't make any sense. So that's why I had this maintenance role created. Um, awesome. Hopefully that helped you, Sandy, with some information. All right, any more questions? What do we got? Questions, 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 questions. All right, what questions do we have? Any more questions? How are we doing? Good? Everybody's good? No more questions? Really? That was it? That answered everybody's questions. Road to SEMA. <clears throat> Road to SEMA. SEMA is a bonus and a reward for being an amazing Ladies Offered Network leader. It is work. You will be representing, engaging, and helping as Ladies Offered Network. It is fun. You will be Charlene's guest and host it at VIP activities. It is amazing. You will get to see vehicles and meet people that you would never have imagined. But it's work. <laughs> so here's your road to leadership. This opportunity will be earned, not given. Uh, you must let Charlene know that you have an intent uh, by September 1st. You must be on the road to leadership program. You must have at least attended one national event. Again, now you're understanding why. I need you to be able to talk about your experiences. Must have hosted a minimum of two networking events. Must have attended a minimum of four leader calls. So hanging out with us for at least four months. And must have atten attended the leadership summit post SEMA. So 
if you're coming to SEMA, then you're staying for the summit right afterwards as well. All right, so that's the road to leadership, uh, the leadership road to SEMA. That's the bonus for being a part of the leadership group. So nobody else can do that other than you guys. That is the, the, the ding ding. All right. Uh, let's see. Stephanie, leadership isn't about titles. It's about being that force that impacts membership experience positively and representing the brand correctly. Understand all the whys behind what is being done before assuming or saying I'm not sure. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yes, yes. Mentors, are they local? Meaning uh, when you're in that second stage, are your mentors local? Not necessarily. I mean, we can try, but again, it's a national group and we're so based on being online anyway, so it may not necessarily be local, local. It would be nice though, I think. Um, somebody asked, what is the fee for the ambassador education? So our racer marketing school and ambassador school are $199. And I'm going to keep that even when we go into the Bauer Academy mode. So half off would be a hundred bucks. But again, talk to me about that because there's ways that we can uh, work through that also. We get a follow-up email for tonight's call. I'm pretty much just going to send this link out. So, oh, and you will get an email if you're on my list of people that have already signed, uh, gotten in for your... What's the word? Ah. For your um, attendance questions so that I get your feedback. Yes. Okay. Yay. All right. I've answered a lot of questions apparently. Um, great. Now what? Say goodbye? We all go get online now? I don't know. <laughs> so awkward. Usually we have this like the chat, the weird chat zone at the end. Um, <clears throat> so let's have a weird chat zone since y'all are still hanging out with me. And if you want to ask questions, you still can. But the, the really big scene to this is I'm really excited about the leadership thing. The chapter thing, we tried it, it didn't work. And I'm okay with that, okay? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> um, so Tina says, don't kill me, but I'm confused. Came to leadership call late. Just replay it, Tina, because I think that there's a lot of information at the very beginning. I went in a very specific mode. It was a very presentation-like presentation. So watch it from the beginning, re-watch it, and make sure that you have that opportunity to watch things and really invest in that. And then that will be something that you'll be successful with. Okay. So I'm really excited about this being something that we are going to go forward with. Um, I think that it's going to be something that is something that isn't, isn't going to be limiting at all. That it's going to give you guys the opportunity to be successful whether you have a bunch of off-road girls in your area or not, whether you are moving from one location to another, you can still be successful. It's not like you're having to rebuild a quote chapter, right? Like all of those limitations are gone now. You are you and you are awesome and you understand the words and it doesn't matter where you are, you can be successful and you can be awesome. So that's why I think that this leadership program is really neat. Um, it's going to teach you skills of how to work at a trade show booth. It's going to teach you skills of how to talk to people maybe that you might not have heard before or dealt with before. Um, it's going to teach you skills of, I don't know, how to lead a trail ride, how to make sure we're safe, how to do all that. So all of that's coming to you because of this. So there's a lot of opportunity there. And then at the, at the end of the year, or as we go through the year, we'll understand what needs to be added on for next year. Like this year, that's all we can manage. Like we got a lot going on. I need your help with a lot of everything else that's happening. 
<clears throat> I think we have a plenty on our plate to be successful with and to execute and to be good at. I don't want us to be mediocre at. I want us to be great at it. I want us to be really good at it. I want you to feel confident in what you have going on, not overwhelmed with having to do too many things. So then once you feel like you have that confidence and you have it under control, then we'll add more. Because <laughs> that's what we do, right? For all of us, that's what we all do. Um, okay, some more questions. So t-shirts, I have no idea what that means, but that's not a topic for tonight anyways. Um, can we clarify what counts as national events? Yes. <clears throat> Shabam, look what I got. I have them all sitting right here at my desk so I can write your names on them. How cool was that, huh? Uh, national events. <clears throat> so any of the VIP experiences, so like next month is uh, King of the Hammers, we have the Mint 400, um, the Star events, the Star Weekends, so those are our three-day events, Easter Jeep Safari, Jeep Beach, the Adventure East, the Overland Expo, uh, the Adventure West, the Wilderness First Aid, if you need it to be one of your events, but uh, the Challenge, that's an online one. Our convention, clearly, clearly, clearly. All the star events that will get around. Uh, Four Fest VIP experience. Offered Expo VIP, Trail Hero VIP, um, SEMA leadership experience could count, but you don't really want to lead it right up to that because you're going to be wanting to walk that weekend and that's really, uh, that's really cutting it close. Okay, so hopefully that, uh, that helps with that. Mm, that answered the wilderness question. Apricot. Can I incorporate my own SEMA attendance into lawn leadership? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so um, Diane's asking if you're already going to SEMA for your own business, can you incorporate? Yes, for the most part, like it's because uh, we'll have a lot of the events, Diane, you attend the same things we do or we will as VIPs. So it'll just kind of depend. It'll depend, but it's not a big deal. Um, what else do we got here? Like the idea that it's not so regional. Exactly. Leadership program is, oh, good plan. Good point. The leadership program is resume worthy, by the way, ladies, which I'm going to agree with because you guys truly are learning skills. Uh, you're not just given a title. This is not just a title moment. Uh, so what do you leave? It sounds amazing, but I'm a newer Jeeper owner and not sure if I have the base skills to join or lead any group or trail ride and stuff like that. How do I know if I even have the basic skills to do this? Alex, thank you. That is the question of the night. Hearts for Alex. All right. Um, so spectacular question. You don't have to lead a trail ride. So I kind of mentioned this in a post, I think it was yesterday post that said, to be a part of the leadership program, you should have a leader's personality. You should be able to want to talk to people. Good plan. Um, and you should want to be able to host events and represent Ladies Off Road Network. Good plan. And then I put in parentheses, and you can wiggle out of some of them. <laughs> All right, you can wiggle out of some of them. My little word, wiggle, 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 just get out. Um, if you have the personality behind you, I'm going to give you the words to be successful to represent. If you don't feel comfortable, uh, leading a trail, please don't honestly, like it's not about you. It's not me being mean. It's exactly what you just said. Don't do it. Don't do it. But maybe we find another leader that is in your area also. And they need a tail gunner or they need a mid gunner because this is going to be a part of who you have to have on your team. And so maybe instead you guys work together at it. So don't, uh, don't not be a part because of your trail experience. Okay. That's not part of the scene. The scene is 
Do you love what we do? Do you believe what we do? Do you want to share this experience with other ladies? Be a part of it. It's totally fine. And then you'll then you'll gain those skills through being part of this as well over the next few years. And hopefully at one time, all of a sudden, you're going to say, okay, Charlene, I'm ready. I'm going to do it. I've been watching your videos for two years now. I got this. <laughs> and we're all going to be behind you and you're going to be just fine. All right. So does that explain that one? Everybody good with that? Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. Um, so there's no regions, there's no anything, there's no nothing, there's a bunch of rad ladies around the country and the, the everywhere, around the world. Uh, to Wendy's question, no chapters, are there region areas, non-labeled? Nope, nothing. Uh, clearly you guys are going to work within the groups of people that you're working with, so that's great, but um, we're not breaking anything out. Yes, I broke the chatter out in Apricot into regions. That's so that you guys can chat and find the people local to you, right? But that has nothing to do with anything else. Like we're not breaking it down, not breaking it down. <clears throat> All right, questions after reviewing the leadership num note, leadership summit notes. I think I can throw most of them away. Is that correct? Yes, <laughs> that's correct. Oh, what a great weekend <laughs> to come to this moment. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I was just most excited about the pin. I know, isn't that awesome? Anything else? All right, um, we're back to the bottom where there's no more questions. Okay, so I hope I'm making it sound doable. I'm also making it sound like it's work, hopefully. I'm not saying that this is just like a free ride. Um, we are working at this. We are making this happen, and it it is going to be something where we're on, we're on it consistently, right? We're on it consistently, so it opens up another level of chatter. Um, I was going to say something else, and I forgot. It had to do with the regions. It had to do with the chapters. It'll come back. It will come back. Oh, yeah, you guys see my glitter plane? It's right there. <laughs> yeah, the glitter plane made it. <clears throat> my helmet, it's retired. Too many crashes. We'll talk about that later. Anybody recognize that? Let's not talk about what it is, but you guys can laugh at that. Yep. Um, okay. Any other questions? What do you guys got? Um, yeah, Michelle, you're shipped out today. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Your pen is on its way. The, <laughs> should we show you what they look like? Do I have one right here? Oh, yeah. Of course I have one right here. Shabam. You're so fancy. Look at that. It's like a real pin, like it's a pin, and then it has a highlighter at the end. I know, I know. <clears throat> yeah, so leaders work uh, directly with me. So that's gonna be interesting, right? Let's see, let's go back up here really fast. Um, so leaders work, work with you and there's no liaison. Uh, there's st I still have to have help. There's no not going to be any like miscommunication about that. I still need help. I still need everybody working together. Um, but yes, at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to be providing that education just like we're providing <clears throat> through the resolution right now. And hopefully that will eliminate a ton of questions, right? Just like tonight eliminated a ton of questions by me presenting correctly. So hopefully I'm going to present correctly, and then we'll get into a call that should have uh, little to no questions, or we can be online and deal with those questions. And then the uh, save the date days are actually seriously days where I'm sitting in my office while you guys are executing something, and I'm 100% available. So that's going to be something that's going to be very unique, um, where now you guys are making 
making it happen and I'm there making it happen for you if something goes sideways. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's not think about that, but you got the plan. Yes. Mm. All right. Dang it. There was something I was going to say. Hopped on late? Yes, please, please, please. If you hopped on late, watch from the very, very, very beginning. Just hit the entire replay and just watch it again. If you came on at the beginning, hit the entire replay. Watch it all over again. That was a ton of information that I just dropped on you. Um, and I'm very excited about it. I'm very forward thinking about it. Um, I think that it's going to be just really exciting for everybody to be successful and to get ladies going in the right direction. Like Jen Morton. So she just jumped on, right? So Jen Morton is a perfect example. She's a moto girl. Yeah, she just got into Jeeps and everything. We're pulling her in that direction. But she's our moto girl. Like now this gives her an opportunity to be a leader in such an amazing space and have that opportunity to really talk in that mode instead of just in our quote jeep mode like again it was so limiting so jen go back and watch it all because you're going to be really really excited about this yeah yeah you're one of the people i was thinking about when i did it um all right what other questions do you guys got so what stories do you want <laughs> you want some stories about how stressed out i was while these girls were out on trail rides ah yeah it was not pretty I'm not sure who was with me, but they'll remember. <laughs> they'll remember. It was either Dana or Marissa or who was it that was with me on those days? I don't remember. Oh my gosh. It was challenging. <laughs> it was so challenging. Uh, but now we isolate that into one day of Charlene freaking out instead of multiple days. Yay. Yeah. <clears throat> um... Wendy, ask me another question. You need to ask me another question because something you asked me sparked me wanting to say something and now I can't remember what it is and it's frustrating me and I know it's important. I know it's so important. <clears throat> um, something about committing to the process that people need to consider what is best for them whatever that is is okay no nope, that's not what it was but absolutely <laughs> um yeah always understand that we're committing to a process um you may not always 100 percent understand the process because it may not make sense but now you also didn't understand why i was freaking out about trail rides and why we weren't promoting stuff on timely manners and why networking events got canceled for a couple months like that stuff costs money on top of everything else and are we getting what we need out of that event so um there's a lot of things in the background that are happening that you didn't realize and now this whole leadership plan you're getting brought into the office you're getting brought in and understanding okay this is why we got to do what we got to do and this is why we got to hit these goals you know it's very goal oriented um so yeah so it's a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different scene. So again, it's not for everybody. And if it's not for you, it's totally okay. It does not matter at all. Ladies Offered Network is education and adventure and opportunity and networking. That's what Ladies Offered Network is. And that is what you're here for. And that's what you need to remember is the core focus. If you decide to put that leadership role in, that's on you. And it is going to be some work, and it is, but it's going to be fun to you. Am I bringing the ponytail back? It's pigtails. Pigtails. <laughs> pigtails. Right? Too funny. Um, she asked about the liaison. Okay, so Wendy, the, the deal is, is it doesn't matter. So if the expansion is needed for the rest of Kansas, how does that happen? And that just means that, for one, there's going to be 10 leaders in Kansas City now. There's not going to be three. There's not going to be one. 
You don't have to decide who's who and who's who and who's who. You're out of the middle of it now. So now you have 10 net now you have 10 leaders in Kansas City or maybe one's 10 miles down the road or maybe one's 3 hours this way or maybe one's 5 hours that way. And that's the benefit of this. That's where we don't quote have this grouping anymore where it has to be like that. Um, I don't know if Kansas, I think Kansas City, you guys are having the same challenge too, is you don't want to cross the border or you don't want to cross the river or something. So now a networking events, you can have literally one in Missouri and one in Kansas and everybody's happy because they're getting the information. Again, it doesn't matter if there's 30 people in a room. It's better when there's five to 10 because you can have a great experience, not just mad chaos. So that's going to be something uh, that's going to go forward and it'll all sort itself out. It'll all sort itself out. So uh, the other piece is, is now it's not putting anybody in a weird position where you have to say, well, we already have three leaders and sorry, but you know, you can participate and it'll be great. It'll be fun. No, you want to be a leader? Heck yeah. Yep. Here's the form. Join in. Um, people will be able to join in as they want. There's no timeline to it, as you see. That's going to probably stress me out a little bit. We'll figure that part out. Uh, but we'll kind of start letting them in. I'll probably have like this intro. They have to watch all of this first in order to be able to get to that next level. Um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. All right. 2020 is going to be awesome. Expansion is simple. Let them be a leader. I think is the answer. Mm -hmm. Expansion is simple. I know you're asking me questions, but there's something else. There's something else. Leaders are nationwide. Yep. Leadership is nationwide. Leadership is not regional. Leadership can be anywhere. Leaders are leaders. <clears throat> uh, who decides and works on making sure that the network paperwork is turned in? Do we all work together? I just wouldn't want six events in March and then nothing in April. Yeah, so you guys will all be on, um, you'll all be in the same area in Wild Apricot in our leadership group area. So you guys will still be chatting. It's not like you're not communicating at all. So you're still communicating within that group and you can say, okay, hey, um, such and such wants to do it here. And you're like, check, okay, that area is taken care of and such and such wants to do it here and check that area is taken care of. And now Dulce, you can start doing ones up in your area. And it totally makes sense, right? It's not like it's some weird, awkward moment of not doing it that way. Um, yay, Alex just submitted her application. I'm just saying. Yay, I'm proud of you. Uh, can you co-host networking events? Sure. Uh, you can attend networking events that you're not hosting. You can let the person just host it. It's not difficult. But as soon as you know how to host a networking event, you're also helping that host be successful. Back to our whole statement of the networking events are your first impression, right? A lot of times our first impression. How are we making sure that our current members are having a great time? How are we making sure that our new people are invested in making sure that their learning continues? I like it. A uh, question about education. With the non-disclosure agreement, how will that work with networking events education? Not sure. I understand that. Um... Networking events get one sheets. You get two one sheets of education in your packet, and that's the education that you provide. Not sure I'm answering that question correctly at all, okay? But there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing there. Um, I provide the education. I'm, maybe that's the part that we just need to know. <clears throat> All right, Laura, ask that question again. I just want to make sure that I'm answering it correctly. Yay, good, you guys are doing great. And I'm thinking that a lot of you are getting it all figured out too. 
Yes? Or like Jamie said, you're processing it and you have my number. <laughs> so you can always call, text, or whatever. Um, yeah, the next couple days I'm around, so you are welcome to call. At the events, we would be sharing the education. How do we prevent them from taking that education to other groups? Oh, you can't. You can't prevent them from taking that education to other groups. It's online as a PDF. So I put, I put those up online right after, not right afterwards. Um, they're supposed to go up the month afterwards. And I haven't really done that because everything got out of control last year. So we're catching up with everything. We have, oh my gosh, you don't even want to see the editorial and, and social media calendar right now. Yeah. <clears throat> if you owe me a story, you better get it in because you're on my list. Um, yeah, so that's, that's nothing you can control. That's not part of the scene. Part of the scene is, um, I don't know. I'm teaching, I'm going to teach you a very direct way of how to do something. And this is how our events go and this is the why behind it. That's what I don't want taken to your other clubs or whatever. Does that make sense? So it's not anything to do with. Uh, you presenting that education that I made for them to be successful. They're going to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Does that answer the question? Did I answer the question? All right. All right. Everybody, I think we all got to go. <laughs> Wendy is calling it. Got to go. Time to be done. Great questions. Keep them coming if you have them. I'm going to put this link up. This is the link. I want you all to rewatch. Uh, I'm going to work for the next few hours at creating another spreadsheet in my life. And then you guys will get a great email that says, hey, send me back some feedback. All right. If you don't get that email by tomorrow morning, I'll commit to this. If you don't get that email by tomorrow morning, reach out to me, 480-490-2019. Uh, 480-490-2019. You all have the number. So reach out to me if you don't get that email in the morning. If you think you should have, like if you think you already put in all your paperwork, maybe an error on my part, but I also just want to make sure that we're on, on the same page with everything. So let's just uh, get on the same page. That's one of my goals from now to February also is making sure we have our leadership group set and make sure that everybody is awesome and under control. And uh, yeah, awesome. I appreciate you guys. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be fun. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye.